Well, we all cheer for underdogs because I guess we've all been one at one time. So tonight we did cheer for the UWM men's basketball team. The Panthers had the chance to become the losingest team ever to punch their dance card for the NCAA tournament. Katie Crowther live on campus tonight with a story of Panther pride. Katie. Carol and George is so close yet so far away. The Panthers may have lost their game tonight, but overall they won a lot of hearts. UWM students, alumni, and future Panthers were glued to every move on the court. You could feel and hear their enthusiasm for every point scored. The Panthers gave Northern Kentucky University a run for their money till the very end. And Panther fans never gave up hope. Many had to turn to prayer and emotional eating to get through the stress of those final minutes. In the end, it just wasn't enough. Not the outcome we wanted. We were hoping for that Cinderella story. Man, we could have won that game. Are you leaving with a little bit of a tear in your eye tonight? Oh, just a little bit, but like, we came from out of nowhere. We were 10 seed, and look where we are now. So I can go home happy that we made it this far. The team serving as proof that heart and fight mean so much more than your record or rank. Basketball proved to many other programs that literally anything is possible. I mean, coming in as a 10th seed, playing in the championship, I mean, that's unheard of, but it gives so much hope and faith to every other student athlete out there. And what's another loss, really, at this point? Uh, hopefully, this all gives us some momentum going into next season. Reporting live from campus, Katie Crowther, today's TMJ4. It was exciting, even though it was short-lived. Thank you very much, Katie.